test, test. Hope you guys can hear me. Hello guys. So we're back with another chipping video. In today's video, we're going to step it up a notch and I'm going to tell you guys how I hit a different kind of chip shot, which is going to give us a little bit more air time than the previous chip shot that I mentioned. And in the previous video's chip shot, it was more of a chip and run kind of style. And like I said, it was the highest probability shot because obviously you want to get the ball running as soon as you can if you want to give yourself the highest chance to be putting. Um, a lot of people, like I said in the previous video, have issues with contact with the ball. And that's why we want to get the ball running as soon as possible, hitting a lower lofted club, just so that we can give ourselves the highest chance to be putting after we chip. But for today, if you guys have already mastered the first video and the chip shot, what we're going to be doing is giving ourselves a different kind of chipping style, which is going to give our ball a little bit more air time. Like you know, on the golf course, you can be facing a ton of different chip shots. So we have to be able to hit different kind of chip shots as well. So today we're going to hit a shot where you maybe have less green to work with or you would want to carry the ball a bit more so that you don't just run the ball on the ground or maybe you don't have as much grass that you're able to run it on so you want to have a little bit more air time with your chip shot so that's what we're going to be working on today more of a mid trajectory chip shot <laughs> All right, so this is the situation for this chip shot. I'm going with a 54 degree wedge here. Regularly, I usually chip with my 60, but I'm just going to use a little bit more of a, I guess a wedge that most people will be more comfortable using. So we're going with 54 today. And as you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, till we're safely on the green. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it's almost a 50-50 um, distance that we need to land the ball on and roll off. So in the previous video, we talked about, a lot about like hitting a 50 degree wedge and running the ball. But for instance, in some like, for instance, municipal golf courses, maybe this area here, if you land the ball anywhere here, it could just stop. So what we're going to do is we want to land the ball here instead. And obviously we can't use something like a 50 degree wedge because that's going to run the ball kind of a lot. So we're going to have a little bit more height in this chip shot so that we can stop the ball a bit faster and be able to land the ball or carry the ball a bit further onto the green so that we don't have to play too much with the grass over here. Obviously here at KLGCC the grass here is great and you could hit a, a low chip shot but for instance I don't know if you can see the grass over here it's thick rough so if I were to hit a chip and land it in here chances are it's going to stop in here so that's not what we want to do. We want a little bit more carry distance in this chip shot. All right so First chip shot of the day. Let's see if I can demonstrate what I want to teach you guys today. <laughs> Ooh, am I gonna get it? Almost, not bad. As you can see, I landed it just on the green. Let's try one more. Hit a little bit of the fringe, but not too bad. So you got about a three footer coming back. One more. Let's see if I can get this one in the hole. Nope. Hello. Hi. Oh, awesome! I'm filming one now. <laughs> no worries, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so because well, because I'm using a 54 here, and it's not it's only 11 yard chip. I'm not going to be able to take too big of a swing. You know what, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do what I normally do, which is hit my 60 degree wedge. Um, if I can find it. So, let me just kind of demonstrate the difference between this chipping style and what I mentioned in the previous video. Basically, the biggest difference is that we're actually going to be using a little bit of our hands in this video, in this chipping technique. Because in the previous um, video that I talked about, it was a lot of body rotation. Basically, your hands are very quiet. And that's all we're going to do because we want to keep it as simple as possible. But in order to get a little bit of height, we, we're going to need to use a little bit of our hands in this video. It's the higher that we want the ball to go, the more loft we're using. Obviously, the ball is going to go, is going to carry shorter. What that means is that we're going to start needing a longer swing. So when we need a longer swing, if we don't use our hands at all, 
if we just use our body to rotate, what's going to happen is we're almost going to have a lot of like forward, almost like a stack and tilt kind of technique, which is not really what we want. We want to keep our weight forward, but we're not like stacking it forward like this. So in order to take a bigger swing, what we're going to start incorporating is a little bit more wrist and a little bit more hand into our chipping technique. It's very subtle. It's not like we're like taking the whole back swing with our wrist. And the biggest, most important thing is that when we're incorporating the wrist in our takeaway, it is only in our takeaway. So we're not doing it in the downswing. We're only going to incorporate wrist on the back swing and we're not going to be like flipping it over. We're still going to be using our bodies to rotate. So if you take it in a two part swing, it's going to be wrist, body. Wrist, body. So we're almost like maintaining our wrist angle and our prop face using the leading edge make solid contact with the ball. Is that going to be the one? Nope. Too much break on that one. Sorry, I always film these videos when my sinuses are at like their peak. Anyway, um, so okay, so one more time just regarding the setup. Um, we're having a lot of technical technical difficulties in this filming process because of my camera aka my phone not being very cooperative so i don't want to prolong this video any further but anyway we're just gonna i'm just gonna show you from the front because i feel like you'll get a better understanding of what i'm saying from the front view so again like i said in the previous video or previously right like five minutes ago the setup is pretty much the same we're gonna do 70 30 stance small or the big di biggest difference is that we're going to allow the wrist to hinge a little bit on the backswing and most importantly we're not going to hinge it on the way down we're going to use our core to turn so that is the biggest biggest most important thing because once you start using your wrist on the downswing that is the biggest issue we're always going we're going to allow the wrist to naturally hinge on the backswing but not on the on the downswing so example also we're going to keep the club face neutral on this one as i said i'm using a 60 degree wedge so I feel like when people, natural, for me, I do open up the club face a little bit when I'm doing this um, chipping style. But I feel like when people start to open up the club face to a 62, 64 degree, they do tend to struggle between using the leading edge, the leading edge and the bounce of the club. So for if you're trying this for the first time, I do want you to keep it pretty neutral. So again, all we're going to do, let it naturally hinge, but not on the way down. That was a nice one. And this is what's going to give us, maintaining this wrist position is what's going to give us that crispy, spinny feeling when we chip. And it's going to help us use the leading edge. It's going to create nice, consistent chip shots. All right, guys. So I think I'm pretty much going to end my video here because this video process is a little bit of a pain today. But um, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And next up, we will probably move on to the opposite, which is carrying it a little bit further. So if you talk about 80-20, it's going to be 80% carry and 20% run out. So it's the opposite of what we did in the previous video, which is going to be more of a floppy, higher chip shot. So let me know if you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and give me some kind of feedback of what you want to see next. Before we ended the video, I just wanted to show you guys the three different styles that I'm talking about. The first one's going to be the lower one, which is probably not going to work because I'm using a 60 degree, so it's not going to have enough to go onto the green. But I'm just going to show you the style and why it might not work in this case. And then I'm going to show you the one that we just did today and the one that I will probably have to show you next, which is the higher shot. Probably not going to want to hit, but a lot of people want to hit it because it looks 